Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. In the wake of the sudden death of working class boxing hero Arturo Gatti, HBO Sports is offering a celebratory look back at the three fights which most define Gatti's tumultuous career. His epic trilogy with body puncher supreme Irish Mickey Ward in 2002 and 2003. On this telecast, we look back at the rematch, which followed by six months, the two fighters' almost unbelievable first confrontation. Already the memory was fading of the controversial decision, which had awarded victory to Mickey Ward by a single point in the Mohegan Sun Casino in rural Connecticut. Now Gaddy would seek personal revenge before his own home crowd at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. For though Gaddy was reared in Montreal, and carried with him the soulful French-Italian-Canadian heritage in which his family was steeped. His series of dramatic performances on the boardwalk had made him the unofficial property of the Jersey Shore. That crowd energy was expected to benefit Gaddy in his second matchup with Ward. So too was the plan to box more and try to avoid the life and death style of the first confrontation. It was November 23, 2002. Here's how I called it with Larry Merchant and George Foreman. And Mickey Ward and Arturo Gatti start again with what may or may not be round 11 of their hellacious 10-round fight in May of this year. Well, George, the central question is, can Arturo Gatti box and continue to box throughout the evening? Well, he's got to establish himself or reestablish himself as the boxer with the jab. Go down to the body. That didn't show that he didn't get knocked out in the latter rounds in the first fight. That's both insurance that both fighters will be weak if the weak one get weak. Arturo countering over Mickey Ward's left with a right hand. Ward didn't land until the third round last time. His patented left hook to the body, targeted to the liver, which frees his opponents and forces them to fight Ward style. Ward's already been touched with a right hand by Gotti, and it didn't seem to phase him much. There may already be a little blood from Mickey Ward's nose. In recent years, Artur Gatti's conditioning and stamina have improved greatly. He admitted to us yesterday that there's still room for improvement. He thinks he may have made it this time around. And Ward starts to use his jab. That's good. Guys boxing you didn't return the favor. Gatti throwing a lot of punches early on. He was the more active fighter in the first fight, throwing 76 punches around. Both guys better realize this is a brand new fight. Don't try to continue something that's already ended months and months and months ago. Forget about the old fight. Good sharp right hand lead by Arturo Gatti, followed up with a left hand. Ward launching most of his punches across the top. Dueling with Gaddy upstairs instead of working to the body. Whoa, what a good right to the body by Gaddy that time. And a follow-up left hand to the cheek of Gaddy by Ward. That hurt. Overhand right by Gaddy. He's got his man hurt. If he only knew. One thing Gaddy did in the first fight a lot was throw a lot of energy sapping punches to the gloves of Ward. He's being a little bit more judicious and economical here in the first round. But he's landing with relative ease. Uh, stop on, stop on, wait. And as so a result, it's, it's been a big round so far. At least ah. so it appears to these eyes for Arturo Gatti. Every time. You're letting him bang bang put the right hand. Okay. Come back with a jab, come back with a hook. Very good. Okay, don't just get caught pulling out. Everything is beautiful. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay low. One on the back of my hand. Okay, stay low, baby. Stay low, and you can do this all night. You understand me? Okay. Just stay focused. Here's an example of some 
judicious economical punching by Gaddy. Here are the body shots after the head shot. CompuBox numbers in round one. Gaddy 26 out of 79, 33%. Ward throwing only 39 punches in the round. More or less allowed Gaddy to have his way. Arturo threw 43 jabs in the round. That's more than he'd like to throw. He wants to keep it to 25. There's the first rocking left hook from Ward. It caught Gaddy flush on the chin. And now he gets it to the body. And the right hand lands across the top. And now here comes Ward's first big rally. The thing about Gaddy, he's able to land some hard body shots and overhand right. Takes a lot of oxygen. You got to recover from those. And that's what he tried to do is coast for a second and got himself punched himself. And now here comes Arturo coming back to match Ward's intensity. Well, he was trying to retaliate because it seemed that he was being hit while he was being held. That's the fighter's instinct. a better jab, left jab. I don't understand why he doesn't use it. Let his head go. Let his head go. Okay, come on. It's a little longer with his left jab, Ward is. Why not use it more? Well, maybe because he's developed that jab relatively late in his career and doesn't believe in it the way he believes in the other weapons in his arsenal. There's Arturo firing punches into Ward's guard. And now he lands the uppercut and lands a follow-up right hand big. Got his corner, told him to stay low. Now I understand what they told him. It seems that Ward is not effective if he takes his head down a little lower. I'd like to see if that really works. There's Ward gunning for that left hook to the body. Right hand across the top. And now Gaddy tries to retaliate with his own left hook to the body. Ward is about a, as tough as you can be as a boxer. God has got no right to do anything but box this man. Low blow by Gotti, completely ignored by referee Earl Morton. Well, Gotti is landing vicious, vicious body punches. And he seems to be, make his man miss when he bows low. I think there's an abrasion on the bridge of Ward's nose now. With a little show of blood from there, Ward has a little bump in the middle of his nose, and it gets abraded in every one of his fights. Am I wrong, Jim, or are these, these rounds just flying by? Well, there are only two of them. <laughs> but it's good stuff to watch once again. to the body okay don't get caught pulling out Thank you, Mr. okay Thank you, Mr. Well, speed. Nice. give me speed and let's double up on our jab now okay double up on the jab okay as soon as you start. there's the left hook that Ward landed on Gaddy didn't have a lot of steam Gaddy's uppercut these fighters you've heard of hit and don't be hit with Gaddy and Ward it's hit be hit and hit again Arturo Gatti promised not to throw 75 punches per round. He didn't want to leave Mickey Ward that many countering opportunities. In the first two rounds, Gatti has averaged 77 punches around. Hands a hard right hand across the top against Ward. Ward 32 out of 92, starting at a measured pace, just as he did in the last fight. Ward has got a good left jab. He's able to get his right hand in when he uses it. And of course, that opens things up for your left hook. Corner should tell him to jab this man. Jab got it. Jab him. Ward's trainer is his half-brother, Dickie Eklund. 
who has been at the helm of Ward's boxing career pretty much throughout. There's a great right hand by Ken, and Mickey Ward goes down. You don't see that very often, and Ward's still wobbly as Earl Morton picks up the count. Picking Ward off with a solid right hand shot. Let's see if Arturo can finish. since that last fight. Age has got nothing to do here, Larry. Forget it. Don't even go there. What a right hand by Mickey Ward. Momentarily stops Gaddy in his tracks. Now he lands the left hook to the liver. Gaddy's frozen. Arturo's hands momentarily froze as Mickey Ward nailed him with that body shot. Did, Ward, did Gaddy punch himself out temporarily? No, he just got hit back. This is a fight. Come on, Jim, tell us about it. You don't need a blow-by-blow -blow man to describe this. You know what you're watching. Mickey Ward may make it out of the round. What an unbelievable lift it would be for Ward if he can survive what he took from Gaddy in this round. storms and here's another one how who would have expected Ward to survive and come back the way he did by copy box numbers Arturo Gatti threw 90 punches in the third round landing 33 Ward 18 out of 50 both guys rocked their opponent in the round Gaddy almost scored a knockout. Okay. It all came about because of a counter right hand by Gotti. A counter. Yeah. He's waiting to counter tonight. Okay, break. Stop punching. Stop punching. But at, and at one point along the way, George, he left himself open for that vicious left hook that changes your life. Tell me about it. <laughs> Get your hands free. There's the uppercut again, and another vicious left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward still seeming to try to find himself after the punishment he took in the third. He's turned southpaw. Switching. Come on, get the hand. Yeah, he's more or less in a southpaw stance, but somewhat just squared up. But yeah, the right hand in the lead as Ward goes southpaw to land his left hand. Left hook to the back. Now Ward back in his conventional stance. Gaddy pawing at his left eye, which is already swelling shut. And Ward is making Gaddy fight more than he really wants to. 
Vaughn has moved out of this traditional style of left foot foul and right foot foul. He's walking into his man, not allowing him to pump his jab at all. You got to punch or move back. I stop punching, stop punching. Watch it here. Ward has a style. And now the blood begins to flow around Gaddy's left eye. It's been one of his Achilles heels throughout his career. You know, Ward has this style where he comes forward with his gloves, wants you to punch yourself out and then punch you. Gaddy is trying to, when he stops punching, he's trying to hold him. Jim, this is not about money. This is a fight. Believe me, this is not about money. See, that's the point I was making, George, with that question. I'm not sure they could fight any other way for $10 rather than a million and a half. This is about pride and dignity. Exactly. This is, tell, this is telling that, look, this is the family I'm from. This is the country I'm from. This is who I am. Absolutely right. Well said, George. It comes out of their core as human beings. A fight to the finish. Suck it up, baby. You wait time for this. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Here we go. Okay. Keep turning them. It doesn't have to be hard shots to the body, Arturo. Okay? Don't have to be hard shots. Just touch them to the body. Don't have to be hard. And then get out. Let's suck it up, baby. His breath. That's it. You took his breath. Now it's your turn to retaliate. Let's go. Worn down right now. He's worn Okay. Don't let him hit you low. Hit him back, man. Aim the punch. Keep back. He's dead tired. Okay? Listen. They give him a couple of feints and then. You saw the combi box numbers for round four. Gaddy 26 out of 85. Ward 22 out of 55. Ward stumbled back to his corner at the end of the round. Harold, how do you have it through four? <laughs> okay, Jim. Four to nothing. 40 to 35. Arturo Gaddy. You got to give him an extra point in the third round. By the way, Jim, if this fight gets stopped the kind of the cuts, it, it's a TKO because Earl Morton didn't say anything about headbutts. I stop punching. Walk it out. Ward is throwing to the body just like a punching bag that he's going to got his body. Right, stop telling him. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Everybody tries to throw a left hook to the body, George. Why is Ward so much more effective than most other guys? Well, he believes in it. When you believe in a certain punch, you are better at it. That's all there is to it. That's that job by Ward, and he just barely misses the right hand. Ward can keep up some jab, and he's a better fighter tonight. Gaddy moving once again on his legs. Could be the key to winning the fight for him. As the left jab. Got a right hand again. Gaddy's been successful with those. Oh, boy, you better make sure when that jab come, goes out, if, if you're not jabbing, your hands are up because this guy will counter punch you. Arturo showing some rare defensive skills and flurries off the ropes to nail Ward. He actually ducked and slipped a couple punches there. And another one. Nice to see that guy that can really box some, too. <laughs> and can remember to do it in the heat of battle. Ooh, a good right to the body by Gotti there. Those punches hurt. Like a lot of great body punches, Ward takes it to the body pretty well. Ward is nuts. Stop it at all. He keeps coming forward. All right, break. Stop punching. Stop punching. And okay, that wears work. on you That's mentally, doesn't it? It does. When, when, when the fight, the referee tells you to break and you're the one holding on, that works on you mentally. You beating the guy to the body and you're the one holding on. Ward nails Gaddy again upstairs with a counter right. Arturo blinking away the blood in his left eye. Great uppercut left hook combo by Gaddy. 
Here comes Ward again. Won't take no for an answer. Gaddy lands the right hand flush. Ward just regroups and starts popping his jab. Arturo beating Ward with a punch. Counter right lands again. Punches like these make it seem that it's now Gaddy's fight to lose. Total in round five, copy box numbers. Gaddy threw 84 punches, landed 30. Ward throwing 77 punches, the most he's thrown in the fight, landing 21. Artur Gatti has not lived up to his promise to throw many fewer punches than in the first fight, be more selective, prevent himself from tiring down in the face of Ward's attack. Instead, he's fought very much the same fight as he fought in New England. He's just done a little better with it so far. now looking to counter over those body shots. Part of Gaddy's answer to what he would do to prevent Ward's body attack from wilting him, as it did in New England, was to press his own body attack and try to take a lot of starch out of Ward. He's landed some great body shots. Ward's holding up reasonably well. You know what I like about Mickey Ward? He's been hit below the belt I don't know how many times tonight, and he hasn't complained or looked to the referee for any excuse. That's what you call a man. Nor has he tried to retaliate by hitting Gaddy back low. Seldom you're going to run into a man like that, I'm telling you. Oh, this is a sportsman. He just keeps coming. Just there was another coming. one right on the belt. Mickey Ward works as a road grader in the, when he's not fighting, sitting on top of a big steamroller, and that's how he fights. He just comes straight ahead like a steamroller. He even went back to work on the paving crew and ran the steamroller some after his big win over Gaddy in their first fight. I've seen so many supposedly great fighters, when you hit them below the belt, they fall and scream. This guy has not complained. Ward almost pins Gaddy against the ropes. Arturo dances away. The legs still working, the feet still moving for Gaddy. Gaddy is the boxer tonight. Come on, let's walk, clean walk, clean walk. Let's walk it out, Mickey. He's doing an excellent job of boxing. Jab, right hand, move out of the way. That was the plan. That is the formula for trying to avoid what took place in New England, the damage of a head-on-head -head confrontation. As soon as you get inside, spin out to your left. Spin out to your left. Do you hear me? 
Don't get inside him with no body shot. Mike, come on, give me that. Come on, come on. Come on, Art. Give me come that, Mike. Look at me. Come Tell on, Terry. Breathe. breathe. I think my All right, Terry Gatti threw 75 that. punches. That. That's his lowest Break number it. of the fight. Still on, more than he on, intended on, to throw. Cut, but the opportunities have been easy it. and abundant. He landed 27 of them. Mickey Ward, 12 out of 62 for 19%. It's been a rough go for Ward. He may well have lost every round, but rest assured he's still in the fight and doing damage as they go along. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, 16 to 53, six rounds to nothing, Arturo Thunder Gaddy. Jim, we all see the clean effect of punching he's doing, but the ring generalship is unbelievable. Back it up, just set up those shots. As soon as he stops, he lets go with a beautiful combination. Gaddy, because of clean punching and ring generalship. Double left hook, upstairs, downstairs by Gaddy. Body shot followed by a vicious left hook to the chin by Ward. Gaddy still showing the energy and the commitment to box, box, box. I got you, I got you, come on, man. let's go, babe. Ooh. Left hook to the body by Gotti. That's a beauty. His corner told him to get low, and whenever he does, he seemed to have a little resting area. Gotti does. First minute and 15 seconds of the round, very effective for Gotti. Finally, Ward lands a punch. Where's your head, man? Taking the starch out award once again with that concerted body attack. Counter right one more time. Well, it's a brilliant plan by Gaddy. Ward is regarded as a tremendous left hooker, great body punter. Gaddy has come in and attacked his body and has countered his left hook with right hands. He's been doing a lot of good counter right hands. That's got Mickey Ward almost on the defensive. He don't want, just doesn't want to rush in on that counter right hand. One way to take away a left hook. Sometimes you just got to take a chance of a guy's countering you punch after another. Just let him keep on. You just, you just keep your fight going. Larry, story of the fight. Body work by Gaddy, boxing by Gaddy. It's one thing to have a plan, it's another to execute it as well as he is doing here. Most rematches, the fighter who won the first fight wins the rematch more easily. That is not happening here. Now, Arturo Gatti's dominance over Mickey Ward is increasing as the fight goes on because his technical plan was the right one right, and he's one, executing it. Hey, Gatti, hey, 21 hey, out of 38, hey, power hey, shots hey, in hey, round hey, seven. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Mickey Ward's face gradually busting up under Gatti's right, intense right, punishment. Arturo, as we told you, with bleeding and swelling around the left eye.
The uppercut has been another consistently effective blow for Gaddy tonight. Yeah, but if I'm in Mickey Ward's corner tonight, I'm thinking if he doesn't pick things up this round and get going, I'm not going to allow him to just get totally wiped out like he's been. Things are happening for him right now. Mickey told us yesterday, I've been boxing for 30 years. Ideally, I'd like two more fights. This one, a battle with Costa Zoo. Bye-bye. This may have been the one punch that made his corner decide, okay, I'll give him another round. He hurt Gotti that time. Hasn't been able to land his money punch now. The left hook to the liver for four or five rounds. Good short right hand inside by Gaddy. Knocked Ward back. Another perfect job of countering Ward's left. Gaddy quicker than Ward. More assertive than Ward. Sure of what he wants to do. left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward with a counter left hook that works. Ward is willing to take five punches just to land one left hook. Isn't he? That's Isn't he? a throwback to the way it used to be, huh? <laughs> the problem is he's not landing the left hook. He gets in the left hook after he receives about 20 other shots. Took lands for Gaddy. Arturo effectively killing time with his footwork now and buying time toward the end of the fight. That's a kind of ring intelligence he has seldom previously shown in his career. Well, when he was a 130 pounder, he showed it. And then he fell in love with being the drama queen or king of boxing. Which is why he's here now. He's gonna get desperate. Okay? Come on, Come on, Come on baby. Arturo, don't look for the knockout. Okay. Let's just pile up points. Okay? Keep piling up points. He's gonna get desperate. Stay low. Remember how you started early staying low with your hands out? Give me that this round. I just wanna feel it. Great, baby. Okay. You go win this fight. You train hard for this fight. You're in better shape. Keep your hands up. Bend down. Forward up with that heart. Down. You're not letting you know do it. You're sitting up doing it. I'm gonna stop it though. Come on, right there. Come on. Oh, you're not alright. I'm gonna cut it off. Push him the fuck off. I'm gonna stop it. Push him. We're gonna keep it clean. Round nine of a scheduled ten. Two rounds to go. Buddy McGurge has done an excellent job in preparing Arturo Gotti for this boxing match. Buddy McGirt is gathering a reputation very early in his training career as one of the smarter guys in the sport. He knows exactly what he's telling his fighter to do. That's seldom seen in this sport. Round nine of the first fight was like round three of this one. I stop pausing. I got you. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. And regarded by most who saw it as one of the most memorable rounds in boxing history. Round nine here has begun much more slowly and tactically. Even though the two fighters have thrown more punches tonight through the first eight rounds than they did in Connecticut. This Mickey Ward is some kind of iron man, I tell you that. The first fight was like a head-on collision. This is more of a of a one-car accident. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever street Mickey Ward was born on, you better go and get some water off of that if you want to be a fighter. Or whatever grows on that street. Hard work, 
Hard work, blue collar, Lowell Mass. Where we at? Stop watching, stop watching. Stop it, stop watching. Okay, let's go. Ward just doesn't seem to have the remaining spark tonight to punish Ward, or to punish Gaddy, I should say, the way he did in the late rounds in Connecticut. You know what, it started off with a lot of a body attack for Gaddy early on. He went straight to the body, and that's what happened. You take it all from a guy early on. That was part of the intelligence of tonight's plan by Gaddy. And his discipline in executing it. Oh, Ward catches him with two right hands. A counter right, and then a big right cross that followed. laying off and boxing for three rounds. That's what he did just to... So you, you think he's making the De La Hoya Trinidad mistake? I think he's made a big mistake. You just can't win fights like this. This is a big night to say I'm just... Gonna... What about the early lead he seemed to have piled up? I don't think that you can depend on early leads in a fight like this. If you're a referee, you're a human being just like we are. So when you're saying... You're saying that when Harold says this can't be close, you don't necessarily agree? Not necessarily at all. Okay. Yeah, he still has the knockdown in round three, as I mentioned, and he's still got the energy to fire off combinations like that. I think Gotti should try to pull this round and win this round and win it good. Well, we'll see what happens in the last minute and a half of the round. That's what he's better do. Make it clear. Make it clear. I think he heard your advice, George, and I think he feels the same way. But he's going to leave some openings for Ward if he does that. And there's a huge left hook. Ward batting Gaddy across the ring with that left. And there's Arturo's left in return. Show them the luck. 
Barnes. Crowd on its feet in proper tribute to the two most compelling boxing performers of the year. Two guys who have given crowds both in New England and here in Atlantic City nights at the ring that they'll never, ever forget. decisively that there wouldn't be reason for a third fight. Why kill the Lily? I mean, you know, we, we both thought there was a danger that this fight would be a big letdown <laughs> after what came before it, but it wasn't. It was a worthy sequel. In sure. the 10th round, by CompuBox numbers, Mickey Ward, 21 out of 88 punches. What an effort for Mickey Ward in the 10th. The George 88 is, punches. George, you're shaking your head. Tell us why. Unbelievable. I can't believe that two men can give that much of each other. Unbelievable. What was that all about? Nothing. And also, to continue the punch stat numbers, Arturo Gatti deleted, uh, landed 34 of 75 in the round. So both fighters threw a lot of punches and made a big effort in the tent. That's what you call a warrior. That's all. Good job, Mickey. I'm proud of you. The two best guys in boxing. Boy, you and your new trainers. Y'all did it. All right, Michael Buffer has the official particulars on the decision. And let's go up to him right now to find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, a round of applause one more time for these two warriors in this ring here in Atlantic City. Irish Mickey Ward and Arturo Thunder Gotti. The scoring is as follows. George Hill and Luis Rivera score the bout 98 to 91. Joseph Pasquale has it 98 to 90. All for the winner by unanimous decision. Looks like we go to a third bout, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Arturo Hunde. Despite Gaddy's right hand, broken in the third round, but not an impediment to victory, and Ward's burst eardrum, the fight was seen as a waltz compared to the war they had fought in Connecticut six months before. Gaddy's win made it one apiece, the perfect platform for a rubber match. And that's what we'll show you immediately following this, when we continue with HBO Sports' posthumous tribute to the late Arturo Gaddy. I'm Jim Lampley. Thanks for being with us. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.